Hello everyone, Chris here. In this video, I want to talk about the productivity tool that I mentioned in the previous video called Notion. In the previous video, I talk about David Allen's book, Getting Things Done, The Art of Productivity. In this book, David talks about the different methodologies of managing tasks in a very productive and efficient manner. The book goes into very finite detail of how you should approach this. But in my opinion, in this modern age, I think there are better web applications and mobile applications that exist now that which David talks about using paper and pen and file cabinets to maintain stuff. I think it's doable now using just Notion. Let's dive right in. This is my board. Um, if you're used to Jira or Trello, which is another task management uh, tool, this is actually very similar. This board itself is very similar. But there are so many different features of Notion that this board is just one of them. You can create whatever columns that you wish. I follow the more traditional start, in progress, and completed tasks. So no, no status means they are not been picked up by me. So these are different tasks that I have to do. So Stack Overflow Survey. So this is another video I'm trying to make, but I can just create a task. And if I have any details, I can add them here below. Maybe I can talk about frameworks. So you can leave notes to yourself and you can create deadlines, you can create the status. If, it, if you started on it, you can click in progress and when you're done, you can click complete it. Um, teams, th these are for when you're actually working with other people, but this is my personal board, so I don't have teams. Properties, also you can add uh, custom properties. You can assign people to it too. But because this is my personal board, it doesn't really make sense. So it's always gonna be created by me and it's assigned to me. You can also um, move around tickets. So once you're done, you can just delete. And don't worry, all these tickets are actually logged into your uh, system. So later you can just go to updates and you'll see all the different things that happen. So whenever you have a task that you have to do, just create a ticket. Just put, click the plus and say, upload video. And that's it, you have your ticket. You can add more details later, you can edit it, you can delete it if it was created by a mistake. Or if you completed it, just simply move it to complete. And that's it. Next, I wanna talk about the someday and maybe. So this is more of um, a bucket list. These things, you can't really do it within that two minute timeline, but you still wanna keep track of those, right? I created this based on a template that Notion also gave. So this is my bucket list. I spent some time uh, on places to go. So these are the different places that I want to go one day. Yeah, I really want to go to space, trust me. And these are the different locations that I put in into my list. So I have, I don't have much detail, but I just put in the picture so it kind of motivates me to wanting to go quick. So let's see, Singapore. And right now I don't have any details, but once I have some time, I will start adding some details onto like what kind of cities I want to go to, what kind of food I would want to eat when I go there and try to plan the trip, like what the airfare would be, the hotels where I would want to stay. Same for other countries, so like Iceland. These, I just added countries and pictures and that's about it for now. I will add like other details as I go along and want to maybe like, I see some great blog posts from somewhere that I really want to go and see a specific location. Learn and read. So books, I think a lot of people would have something similar in mind. So these books are things that people tell me to read. Like they say, oh, hey, this is a great book. You should try reading about it. I actually read a bit of this book. So I'll move it to my red column. So I want to read. Whenever someone talks to me about a book, a lot of the time we would just be like, okay, I'll look into it and we never look into it. So what I do is when someone tells me about a book, I just go to Amazon, find that link, and I just add that here. So you can add a link add a book and then you just paste in the URL that you want to go, go to later. So later, for, for example, this book is called Software Craftsmanship, The New Imperative. I click on it, it's an Amazon link. So if I want to buy it later, I can just go here and then buy it. Similar with tech to learn. So these are different like frameworks, different languages, um, different tools that exist, but I really don't have time to look at them. Like these are things that I really want to learn when I get the time or the chance. Very interesting stuff. I mean, there, this list is going to explode in a couple months. Like every month there's like a new framework that I really want to learn and I just keep adding them. So I'll just go through another example of creating a new uh, page or page or template. So let's see what I can create. So when you click new page, click templates. Notion already has a handful of great things that you can just look. So let's see, quick notes. 
So this is more similar to a Google Docs. The reason I really like Notion um, compared to other tools like Google Drive is that Google Drive is great for keeping documents, and but that's it. You can't really manage tasks. This is more like Google integrated, Google Drive integrated in as well. So you have Trello, you have Google Docs. The only feature I think it's lacking here is chat. Um, but most of the time you'll be already chatting with friends on Facebook Messenger, Slack, um, WhatsApp, WeChat, Kakao Talk, whatever. So that's like the only feature that this kind of lacks. But besides that, you can just have a fully functioning knowledge storage place. So these are design specs, coding guidelines. If you have a team of, of devs that you're going to work with, you can make a coding guideline like template. Visions and missions. So th these are your like company values. You can make a blog as well. One other, another thing is that these could be public if you want them to be. So you can actually have, just maintain this as your website as well if you think this is easier. Instead of like Medium, I think Medium is quite easy, but if you just want to keep everything in one place, you can actually have blocks. So team homes. So this was the template that I used for the bucket list, maybe or later someday. Meeting notes. So this is something I use for my other Notion uh, project teams. Whenever have, we have meetings, we just um, create this note so you can so this is like a meeting with marketing agendas notes action items you can have different like notes employee onboarding so if you have a new employee that you're gonna be hiring you can do like in progress completed talk about like oh this person has to do these so they're already you can have a template you can add people and then it's like hr benefits if, if you're done with payroll you just click that and then it'll be checked Tasks and issues. This is the Jira board, similar uh, template that I showed you earlier. To-dos, roadmaps, weekly agendas. So you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. You can um, look into these templates. You can also build your template however you want. So you don't have to be limited to this Notion template that they give you. So that's about it, about how I use Notion. I also use the mobile application. It's exactly the same, slightly limited features, like you can't really change some specific settings, but most of the things that you would want to do on a Notion app, you would be able to do. I can definitely say that Notion really helped me improve and kind of manage my productivity, like my tasks, my workload. When I have a ton of stuff that I have to do, my head just stops functioning. I'm just overwhelmed and I just don't want to look at anything. I just don't want to do anything. But then when you have stuff and you have Notion, you just put everything down. Don't worry about doing the tasks right away, but just write everything down and see. Just have an overall picture of what you have to do. Getting that done is the first step. Second step is now prioritizing. So you can also um, move tickets up and down. So let's say uploading video isn't as prior, as an isn't high priority as finding a new apartment or uploading the Stack Overflow survey. You can move that down, and you can always start with the top ticket. So you kind of have only one ticket at a time. So you don't have to be overwhelmed with other stuff. Uh, I think this is great. Like the random idea one, that, that, was, that really helped me a lot because I always get these really, really random ideas. I would write them down on my phone, my notes app, and then I completely lose it because I have different devices and I would save it on, sometimes I'm, I'm not saving to the same account. So information is all over the place and that's not that great. So I try to keep everything in one place and I think Notion is a great, great tool. I have the link in the bottom. I think you get a $5 or $10 um, credit if you sign up with my link. So give it a try. I think you'll like it. Anyway, this is it for today and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.